Hello, Gemini. Welcome to Higher Source Tarot for your December 2024 Tarot and Oracle card reading. I am so glad we're all still here as we close out December. It's been a heck of a year. We're going to start off with an Oracle card. You have the card of Betrayal Revealed. Okay, so maybe a, a big turning point as you close out the year and head into 2025. The situation will reveal to you the intention behind it. Whether it's you betraying yourself in some way or another person or situation. So don't sell out. Don't settle, I feel is what they're telling you. You are being asked to unmask the truth by removing any blinders that hinder the clarity that is needed. And, and, and oftentimes we know deep down inside, don't we? Even when we're trying to manifest something very specific, but we either don't feel like we truly can do it, or for some reason, maybe we don't really ultimately want it. Okay, there's something in there underneath. So let us consult the tarot and see what else. It may be about taking things in a new direction, new beginnings. Okay, hey, detailed Celtic cross style reading today. Current situation, you've got the moon. More will be revealed. The immediate influence. The six of pentacles, you have justice in your subconscious. The four of pentacles in the distant past. The six of cups in the more recent past. It's judgment day. You're represented by the knight of pentacles. You're attracting the Four of Wands, you've got the Nine of Wands and your hopes and fears. Very decisive energy in the outcome, but I love it with judgment, okay? Judgment's kind of a softening agent. Well, I'll tell you what, with the Eight of Cups, Five and Seven of Swords, <clears throat> I feel like you're going to let go of some kind of conflict. Even if it's an internal conflict, that Five of Swords can be a mental battle. But if somebody lied to you, the truth is coming out, and I feel like you're going to move on. If it was a relationship, I feel like you have something new on the horizon here. You've got a marriage coming towards you, just to be fair. You also have somebody, too, that I feel like you're going to you're gonna feel like, where has this person been? If you had somebody who was like, it feels like gaslighting you. If, if you felt like you could never truly catch them, though. Okay, that's how I get it. Like, they were pretty darn good at it. Where they would do things, and then why are you reacting like that? You know, they would turn everything around on you. Those are such red flags for somebody who doesn't have good boundaries. Even if it was somebody at work, all right? Even if it was a job or even a landlord where you're like, no, that window was broken when I moved in, you know, and you're trying to duke it out with somebody. And you know this, insanity doesn't recognize insanity. So when you try to prove it and they're able to just sit there and lie to your face, no conscience, no moral compass at all. I was just talking to a police officer about a 12-year-old who does that. And just his his reaction to that was very interesting as far as, you know, what, what may come if that doesn't get corrected. But either way, with this Eight of Cups, you've outgrown it. You're not here to play small. And you're not here to have to be a lie detector in your own life. I feel like you're going to move into such a better period. You have a return to love, a return to trust, to better people, to better times. You've got three major arcana going on here. Now, <clears throat> it does go the sun, the moon, and judgment, but you have the two fairy tale cards in the reading, the four of wands with a six of cups, and that's where I feel like you really hit the change. Live here. Be here. If somebody brought you down, you're coming back out of that. I feel like especially with the moon, something is going to be exposed that you cannot unsee and neither can anyone else. Something gets brought to light finally. And I feel like you're be, when you get into this, it's going to be such a burden lifted. It's wonderful. So <clears throat> with, um, with this moon energy and the six of pentacles, in terms of, of money matters, it's wonderful with justice in the subconscious because it does feel like you'll get paid your worth. Or even if it seems like these past couple of years, the past like four-ish years, five years, 
that no matter what you do, there's a charge for it. You know, you've got to get some repair. There's a charge. You've got to get little minor things. Every place you deal with charges for every little thing. I feel like you're finally going to see that shift back, you know, where they do some of the small things. They say, no problem. Car's under warranty. We got the part for you. No problem. You know, or little, you know, just those minor things where they don't charge to store your baggage if you're at a place, a hotel or a convention center. Nope, we do that complimentary. Okay, that's what I get. Like, you're going to find that, and it's on a monetary level where it just seems like you're getting more for your money. You're getting more bang for your buck here. Now, if you do any kind of work that's in a more like a freelance or a, a consultative type of thing where you just take jobs or side gigs. I feel like with that too, you're going to, you're going to find that your rates improve. And you also too, if somebody owes you money with the energy of the moon, you'll finally get paid. I feel like this is where restoration happens. This is where the balance comes back into your life. The moon is a wonderful energy because information comes out that you know is there. Oh, it's hidden below the surface, but you know it, you can feel it. And so the moon starts a new cycle. It brings hidden aspects out. It brings an evolution. And it also, too, the moon always mirrors the sun. So when you see the moon, know that you've got a dawn of a new day coming, that things are going to get a lot clearer. There's an illumination coming is how I hear it. Now, in terms of relationships, the moon can also be a hidden or secret admirer. And so I do feel like you have love here in a beautiful partnership. If you're in it already, I see it getting more serious. And I feel like, too, communication in general, I think you're really going to enjoy. If you've had some holdups and delays, and some of them might be legitimate, where somebody didn't get back to you in an email and they were legitimately having a crisis, I feel like all that, too, will kind of be water under the bridge. And it's not just lies, okay? You know how they do that? I feel like you're you're going to have actual reasons if that's the case and there's been a delay in communication. Now, the justice card in your subconscious is great because it attracts fairness. It attracts balance. It attracts people with good boundaries, okay? People who don't need to cross boundaries to try to get their needs met. Now, the Justice card also is a card of restoring equilibrium into your life. And so you'll find that, too, if you were burdened with people asking you to step up and volunteer. And that's fine to a point, but when it's a constant thing, it gets exhausting. I feel like here's where they won't keep tapping into you. And especially, too, if you find that they're always coming to you. I just feel like someone had been a bit exhausted by that. It got to the point where it was being taken for granted and even taken advantage of. That is going to stop. I feel like you're going to have a turn of events here that just makes things feel a lot more manageable, balanced, but honest too. Nobody takes advantage of you here. <clears throat> so with the Four of Pentacles in the distant past, you may have been in this energy because of that, because of people asking can you do this? Would you be willing to do, do this? You volunteered for the last committee. Can you do it again? You know, that sort of thing where you start to lock up because it feels like it is like crossing a boundary. And so it feels encumbering. It feels cumbersome. And so with this too, this four of pentacles can also be tightening down money if people were needing money from you. Um, and like I said, I feel like you were kind of getting stretched thin with all the nickel and diming that has kind of been going on in society. I mean, people make jokes all the time about tips. Like, you know, you go to check out at a gas station and would you like to leave a tip? No. In fact, my bank card one time at a place I go to all the time, and it's sort of a table service kind of place. It's not a sit down restaurant. I, they asked for a tip, I pressed yes, and my card flagged it as a suspicious charge. Like, why would you be tipping here? And so anyway, I mean, all kinds of crazy stuff has happened. I feel like with this, you may have, this was in the past, so you may have felt like that. Like, I need to lock some of this down because it's just getting nuts. Now, I'd also tell you with this, if you made any changes with the body, if you started to identify, if you had inflammation and you were on some sort of a anti-inflammatory eating plan, or if you had some other reason why you were starting to identify what in your diet could be causing certain health issues, I feel like somebody here may have identified them or at least gotten rid of something and now you can't figure out which brick it was, you know. 
like which brick is holding up the whole wall. I feel like somebody may be in that too, where you feel a lot better, but you're like, I can't quite tell which one it was that was causing the problem. But with this, I do feel like with that, you're going to want to stick to it, whoever it is with that Knight of Pentacles energy that represents you. So the Six of Cups is such a beautiful card here. If you met somebody in the recent past, there's love and it's real. This is genuine. This is somebody too. I feel like in, in general, you're going to find that people genuinely want to help you. This is a card of authenticity. It's return to love or return to trust. It's a time in your life where you feel like you can let your guard down. Okay, so if you've been feeling guarded, if you've been feeling, like I said back here, even with the tips and things where you're like, yeah, this is like getting expensive too. I feel like you're coming into a place where it just seems like life is easier. It's more, it's just effortless and it's just not threatening. This is not a threatening energy at all. Now, in terms of relationship too, though, it is somebody that you have a lot in common with and that you'll feel like you can immediately trust just based on how they live their life. And you know what? They don't even have to tell you. Success leaves clues. I always mention this. I, I've told my kids this for years. It's like somebody at a gym who's in really great shape. They don't need to go up to people and say, hey, I'm in really great shape. We can all see that. And so that's how this person reminds me. Like they don't have to tell you who they are and they won't because you'll just know it and see it. They won't have to say, hey, I'm really intelligent or hey, I'm really funny. You'll know all of that and you'll see that they're real. So the judgment card here coming towards you. Well, anything that has held you up, this is such a great card of a release. You get released from anything that's holding you back, anything that you've outgrown. It is a time for celebration. It's a time of a renewal, a decision that gets made. It's self-mastery. It's really being at the top. It almost doesn't get better than this, except the world comes after it. But judgment is pretty darn close. So if you're waiting on a decision, it doesn't go any better than this. This is where everyone around you says that is as great as it could have gone. If you're planning an event, there you go again, where they say it couldn't have gone any better than that. It is perfection in motion. Now, you're represented as the Knight of Pentacles. You'll be very dependable in this energy and people will see you and they'll right away say, this is a person I can trust. This is a person I want to lean into. Now, I mentioned before, you may have to set boundaries if you've had people leaning into you too much. But I feel like if it's a job, you'll get hired immediately. If it's a job you're at, they'll ask you can I, about taking on additional responsibilities for pay, though. This is a card that brings, he's your guardian angel of finance. He brings money but he brings it with a plan so you won't get stuck in anything that you do not belong in. You'll have offers and opportunities, but it'll be up to you what you want to do. The Four of Wands says it's time to celebrate. It is a card of wonderful synchronicities. So know that if you, if you haven't met anyone in your love life, it's like this is where the stars align. You'll meet each other and say, where have you been all my life? I've been asking the universe for you. You'll have an uncanny similarity. There's something about the way that you live where really you've got a lot of similarities. It's two people who will be easily matched, very compatible. And sometimes I know people that are a lot alike, it doesn't always work. In this case, I feel like it does where it just like they go, yeah, oh yeah, I do that too. You know, it just all makes sense. Now this is in your hopes and fears. I feel like you're coming out of a time where you had to work really hard at some things. And like I said, you might have had things piled onto you and you're not looking for a sequel of how can I be stretched like a rubber band. You've been there, done that, and it's time to be done. Now, with the Queen of Swords, you're going to be a very effective communicator. What I love about her energy is she combines wit. So use your charm, use your wit, but be clear about what you want and what you don't want either because with this, you'll get, you'll get the point across. She is a great communicator, so you'll get it across well. Any contracts that you need to sign will be crystal clear. There's absolute clarity here. So she looks forward. She knows where she's been. You're all about moving forward, you and your own energy. So I feel like you will not be turning back to redo anything here. You have it too with the Knight of Pentacles down here. All right, we're going to ask about money first. <clears throat> Wow. 
Well, you've got a big fat yes, okay? So if you're asking, is this going to happen? The answer is yes. I like it. That doesn't come out very often. There's a lot of interesting cards in this deck. All right, now we're asking about love. Now you've got a nope. So there may be something with this. Now you have a you have a marriage in moving forward, but if there's somebody from the past trying to get back in and that's who took you for granted, they may be talking about them and it's time to move forward if somebody didn't treat you right. If who I described doesn't sound like them, it's time to move forward. I love you, Gemini, and I'll be back again soon.